I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today's video is going to be a review on Wild Swans by Jessica Spotswood. I requested it and I got approved from NetGalley. <sighs> it also gets released May 3rd. I should probably mention that so it's definitely not that far away um let's just start off by saying i gave this a five out of five stars it's a short beautiful book about a girl named ivy who she's from this family of millborns and the women in that family a lot of people think that it's tragic and some people think they're extraordinary but they all have you know past and you find that on the beginning and ivy was left by her mother when she was two years old and it takes place the summer before her senior year and her mom comes back after all of these years with two daughters and it's just unravels from there and it carries on from there and i'm not going to do a spoilery section for this book since it hasn't yet been released but I want to say that first off, the writing is gorgeous in this book. It flows beautifully. And that's something I really, really love about Jessica Spotswood's writing. I just think her writing is extraordinary. I love it. And I, I just think it's like, ah, oh, and it's so weird because it's not like it's super flourishy, but it's just so perfect. I really do feel that way because in Born Wicked, I felt the same way. But um, I just want to say that the story, I wasn't expecting it to be emotional. I mean, you, you kind of figure it's going to be, but it's a short book. It's only like, what, 272 pages or something like that? And I wasn't expecting it to be so hard hitting, but I felt that, you know, with Ivy, her character and everything that happens to her and how she handles it, what she deals with, I just felt that it was absolutely perfect. I mean, it's not perfect what happens to her, but I feel like how everything is is so realistic. It's so, like, relatable, and it broke my heart, this story. I also love the fact that Jessica was not afraid to go there. There is feminism mentioned in this book. There is LGBT mentioned in this book, and guess what? It's not preachy. It's not annoying. It's not this crazy thing that was just shoved into a book. No, it was touched on with taste and it was just like yes that's amazing like oh my god that was honestly it just added to it it wasn't the main focus but it was added in there and I thought it was great some things that I also really really enjoyed about this is there are certain scenes and they're you know sexual related and I just have to say that that was the best thing inserted into a young adult novel I wasn't expecting it to be it's not like it's not like you know Fifty Shades of Grey or anything and it's not a spoiler obviously there's gonna be a little bit of romance in there but I really enjoy how it was touched upon I just honestly Ivy was just amazing if I switch between Evie and Ivy I'm sorry I think it's Ivy though and I just, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it so much. I do go more in depth on my book Samino and my Goodreads, so I'll leave that down there. And not really in depth because it's one of those books where, like, I want to just talk about how amazing it is. But then at the same time, it's just kind of like I start losing my words as I start talking about how much I loved it. And the struggle is extremely real but i would highly recommend it if you're looking for a heavier sorry if you heard that door if you're looking for a heavier but beautiful story about family and friendship and emotions and expectations and just life in general it's just so good and i i wouldn't have asked for anything better again i gave it a five out of five stars it comes out may 3rd I loved it so much and that's honestly like all I can say about it I you know if you have any questions just like comment them down below and I can answer I want to try to keep it on spoiler because obviously the book's not yet released and I'm publishing this a little bit earlier publishing posting this earlier than when it comes out because I just I have to talk about it now because I finished it a couple of days ago and I should have done it then but uh, I can't wait to buy my copy though so I could reread it and reread it and reread it. I will reread that. It was such a fast read. If I had, if I didn't read super late at night, I would have read it in one sitting. It took me two, three hours to read. It's something that you fly through, but it is 
hard hitting. Honestly though, I still like the fact that I read it in two sittings because I feel like it just it hit more home with me and it's just like you don't understand like the dream I had the night after I finished it I was just like no I did not enjoy that dream and I know it's because of that freaking book but it was beautiful and I highly recommend it but I'll see you guys in my next video bye